All right, Alex Murphy here with Greyhammer. We're gonna do some tips and tricks on um, installing overhead door contacts. This is part one of just preparing the equipment. So we always start by unpackaging everything and um, setting it aside. If you have multiple things to do, you wanna just get rid of all that packaging. It takes a lot of time to prepare everything. Okay, uh, these are PG, these are for DSC Neo, PG9309. They're wireless, so they work for a wireless system. And they have auxiliary inputs on them. So you can wire up uh, a door contact for an overhead door. That's what it looks like. This one comes with the battery installed. And here are your auxiliary inputs. So, one of the things I like to do is if you noticed, if you notice right here, there's no spot for the wire. So you can actually just break that out and twist it off. And now you have a spot for the wire. Another trick I like to do is when, you, when you're wiring up your mag, magnet and uh, let's see here, I'm gonna show this. You have to go through here and then you gotta try to get it in there and that's difficult to do. So let's make it easy on ourselves and this little tab here, we can just break that out. So now when you put your wires in, you can just go straight in. I'll do that now. One of the things that I find with these is these pins need to be bent straight. So when you loosen it up, you'll see like that middle one right there. Can you see that, David? Can you see the middle one? No, don't move. Can you see that middle one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So that middle one there is bent. So you want to stick your terminating screwdriver in there and just flatten that out before you put your wires in so it doesn't push the wire out as you're tightening it. So because we cut that little piece of plastic out, we're able to now just bend, bend oh, see that? It's a good check. So it, it still pushed it out. You always want to test your wires by pulling on them. So I'll just loosen that back up. Put it back in. You never want any copper showing either. You want to strip the wire just enough to make contact with the terminal screws. So there we go. You always want to test them individually too because one might be tight and the other not and you're pulling them both. So then you can fold that down. Put the cover on. And screw that down. Now there's a couple different ways that you can actually do this. Um, some people stretch it so that once the pressure is released it actually goes right up against the contact or the wireless transmitter here. Um, I don't like that because if you have to take it out and then they drop you inside, you lose them. Another way to do it would just be to, when you mount your device here, is you could just mount it to the wall and strap your cable like this. Can you see that, David? Okay. Um, and then just tuck it away nice, nice and neat like that. Something I already did um, before we started was I, I wanted to find out if these contacts were normally open or normally closed, and also just how far of a gap we have. I always look at the instructions that come with 
everything. We always keep one copy until the job's done. And we read through all the instructions. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't done it before and you're not familiar with it, just to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So I take my meter here and I put it onto um, uh, what's it called? It's like an ohm test, but it, but it's uh, it tells you whether I can't remember what that's called. Anyways, um, that's a closed circuit. That's an open circuit. So if we put this on our terminals and then we take one of our magnets, this is going to be mounted on the door. You can see if it closes. So right there we have a, a closed loop. Door goes up, it opens. Normally closed. So it's normally closed with the magnet in place. You take it away, then it opens. Stay tuned for part two on the door.